morning, friends. Got eight, got 18 wood coming in hot here. Anyways, um, walked out of their uh, house this morning and I've seen it rained. I think it's that time of year where it ain't nothing to walk out the house and sit and see the yard wet. Springtime here in Western North Carolina. But me and Cody's headed over to uh, Bearded Lumber to Eric and Matthew. They got some, um, a few videos back. I can't remember which one it is. They, we put some lumber in their kiln. And right now we're going to pick it up. It's actually a pretty good bit. It's two loads actually. One load we're gonna bring back to the mill and a customer gonna come pick it up. Another load, we're gonna take it from their, from Eric's kiln to deliver it. So since we already got it on the trailer, we might as well just go on and deliver it and the customer wants it uh, quick as possible anyway, so it's gonna work out for us. But we're headed there now, so y'all come along with us. We're gonna stop and get a little gas first. Cause... So Cody, tell us what you're doing. <laughs> well, the mill don't make its own gas, so we get gas for the mill. Yeah. <laughs> can't tell you where we're at, but I can say this, we in God's country. <laughs> Amen to that. So we made it to Eric's here at Builder Lumber. And I'm telling you, Eric's got logs everywhere. He's got lumber every, lumber everywhere. I'm seeing logs. I thought, man, I'd like to take that home with me. <laughs> He's got some uh, cedar over, over here I'd like to have. But uh, yeah, we're here now getting this lumber. He stacked up over here for us, ready to load. Boy, they got together over here, I'm telling you. Really? There's one load loaded up. It's got cypress and some poplar. We'll take us back to the mill and get it unloaded. So we're back to the mill here. Just uh, come from Eric's and getting this lumber. And uh, go through the kiln. And we got these poplar boards in here that we had that real wide. You might've seen a couple videos ago. They did not cup at all. Now, I think in that video, I was worried about that. I mentioned how they might cup because they're so wide, but they did not at all. I'm, I'm tickled to death about that. You can't get it all right there? Probably can. It's probably not that heavy, considering it's dry now. There is this popper board, one by uh, 16. And they turned out perfect. So we got the lumber unloaded and Cody's gone to um, pick up some more lumber from the kiln. And I stayed back and I'm gonna get to sawing on a job we got coming up. First, I'm gonna saw some two by fours for a customer. Then I'm going to saw, start sawing some two by tens for another job. This is actually a, a pole barn job we got or a lean to on a pole barn. And that's the, that's the beauty of having two people working at the mill or working here is uh, one person can stay back and keep things rolling and keep money coming in and the other person can do all the running around that comes along with all this. Like yesterday we had uh, we had about 70 two by six to cut that we really need to get done yesterday. And we also had to go get, get some supplies for this job we got coming up. So Cody went and ran and pick up, picked up six by sixes and screws and all that stuff while I got the lumber cut. And we was done by four o'clock and got everything done that we needed to. Versus if it was just me, there's no way we would have got all that done. So two people's nice. Cody sharpened his chainsaws Saturday evening. Let's see how good of a job he done. Cause they were dull. But the last time we sharpened these saws were probably, gosh, five, six weeks ago. 
They, they kept their edge for a long time. good <laughs> this uh this steel ain't really a good saw to um judge how sharp a chain is because it's got a safety chain on it and it kind of stops you from digging in real good i didn't mean to buy that it's the only thing they had so really need to get another chain for that but it works and it's, it cuts pretty good chips are flying so that's a good thing now i'm not sure if this is something i've ever mentioned before is um we always saw with the meal going into the small end. And some people do that different. Uh, some sawyers saw um, with the big end toward the meal. Uh, Cause it, that does work better with a debarker if that's, you know, if that's what you run. And maybe we should do that too, but honestly, it's all in what you want to do. It's all in how you like to saw. There really isn't no wrong or right way in that aspect. Uh, the reason we saw from the small end is the log is only going to give you what the small end offers. So I kind of like it better so I can see what I got here and I cut into it and whatever the, whatever it gets me on the big end, that's just, that's just what it gets. So that's why we like to saw from the small end forward. This job right here is 40 two by fours by 16 and they are true two by fours. So two inches thick by four inches thick. Hey guys, uh, sorry about interrupting the video, but as I record my videos, I normally have about three or four on my phone to upload on the next scheduled time that we upload on Wednesdays and Sunday. Well, I was uploading this video that you just watched uh, last night, which is Wednesday. So now it's Thursday, so I'm a day behind. Got to get it up on there. And I noticed that I had some lost footage. And sometimes when you I would die, when I record in advance, I lose a little bit of footage, and I'm, I apologize for that. I need to keep track of it. But... I just want to come on here and apologize for that and say I will see you Sunday. But let me show you what we're doing real quick. And hopefully this right here will be in the next video or two. Maybe up in the future just a little bit. Let me show you. <laughs> 